Ever wonder why, despite all your time management efforts, you still feel like you're running out of time? This universal feeling is what Oliver Berkman addresses in his thought-provoking book, 4,000 Weeks. Berkman, an award-winning writer and a regular contributor to The Guardian, brings an interesting perspective to the subject of time management. The title of the book, 4,000 Weeks, is quite an eye-opener. It represents the average human lifespan. That's right, if you do the math, you'll find that it equates to just about 77 years. It's a sobering reminder of our finite existence. This book doesn't just dwell on the brevity of life, but rather, it challenges us to look at time in a different light. It urges us to ask ourselves, how can we live meaningfully within the confines of our 4,000 weeks? So, how do we make the most out of our limited time? Let's delve into the book's key points. Ever chase perfection only to realize it's always just out of reach? Oliver Berkman, in his insightful book, 4,000 Weeks, paints a vivid picture of perfection as nothing more than an illusion, a mirage that keeps shifting the closer we get. It's like chasing a rainbow, captivating but endlessly elusive. Berkman goes further to label perfection as a trap, a snare that entices us with its shiny promise, only to leave us stuck in a loop of procrastination. You see, in our quest for the perfect, we often end up doing nothing at all. The perfect time, the perfect place, the perfect condition, they're all excuses we use to delay action. But what if we flip the script? Berkman suggests that we embrace imperfection, focus on what's truly important. It's about making progress, not achieving perfection. It's about living fully in the present, not in an imagined perfect future. Perfection as it turns out, is not the key to making the most of our time. Are you always busy yet never seem to get anything done? Welcome to the Productivity Paradox as presented by Oliver Berkman in his insightful book, 4000 Weeks. Berkman suggests that our relentless pursuit of productivity might, ironically, be the very thing holding us back. We live in a world obsessed with efficiency, with squeezing every last drop from our precious time. But this constant race against the clock, this ceaseless striving for peak productivity, can lead us into a trap. It can ramp up our stress levels, push us towards burnout, and ironically make us less productive. Why? Because in our quest to do everything, we might end up accomplishing nothing of true value. We become so focused on ticking off tasks that we lose sight of what's truly important. So, if productivity isn't the answer, then what is? Stay tuned as we delve into Berkman's counterintuitive approach to making the most of our limited time. What if the secret to making the most of our time lies in our limitations, not our strengths? Interesting thought, isn't it? Oliver Berkman, in his insightful book, 4,000 Weeks, walks us down this unconventional path. He suggests that embracing our limitations rather than fighting them can lead to a life that's not only more fulfilling but also more meaningful. Berkman argues that it's the acceptance of the inevitable, that we will miss out on certain things, that allows us to truly appreciate and focus on what we have. It's like looking at an overflowing bookshelf and realizing you can't read them all. Rather than feeling overwhelmed we should feel a sense of liberation. We can choose to invest our time and energy in those books that truly resonate with us, those that spark joy, curiosity, and growth. So next time you're feeling constrained, remember this. Turns out, limitations can be liberating. So, what are the key takeaways from this eye-opening book? We've delved into the illusion of perfection, realizing it's a mirage that often leaves us chasing after an unattainable ideal. It's time to let go of this illusion and accept ourselves, warts and all, We've also explored the productivity paradox where the more we strive to be productive, the less productive we actually become. It's a fascinating quirk of human nature, isn't it? Instead of forcing productivity, let's focus on meaningful work and genuine passion. Lastly, we discussed the power of embracing limitations. Our limitations are not barriers but rather, they shape our unique path through life. By accepting our limitations we harness our true potential and unleash our creativity. Reflect on these points. How can you apply them in your life? How can they change your perspective? Remember, we all have 4,000 weeks. How will you make the most of yours?